All right, so let us start off with question one. Outline two functions of management. The functions of management come straight from the syllabus. The functions of management include planning, organizing, coordinating, controlling, directing, motivating workers. But in the question, they ask for us to outline two functions, and it is for four marks. So to outline for four marks, you have to state the function of management, and then after give, give a outline or give a little a details about what the function of management is so let's get into it all right so that asked for two i gave you all three so you could see how to answer them so first one we have planning planning where management creates short and long-term goals that the organization is to achieve for organizing is where they assign clear tasks for the employees to carry out as well as allocating resources across the organization and the third one just because we love you all and want to give you all as much information as possible, directing, giving instructions to workers to carry out. Uh, you, we see here, as I said, we have to first state, state the function of management and then after give the outline. And the main marks, the ones that you see in orange, that, that's the main point of how you're going to get your mark so for planning is most most important thing to put is short and long-term goals for the company to achieve uh for organizing the main part of organizing is assigning clear duties and tasks and allocating resources this one I actually gave a little extra so you if you put just assigning clear duties and tasks or you put allocating resources either one you'd be able to get the two two marks and then for directing is given instructions to work for workers to carry out so that is question one part a let's go on to part b list four characteristics of a good leader so this comes straight out of your syllabus so if you are able to remember uh, using the different techniques to remember and give them what they have in the syllabus that is the most excellent thing and we prefer that but if not think of list four characteristics of a good person because pob is about problem solving you know thinking is a thinking subject so let's list them out now so these answers fresh out from your syllabus they ask for four i mean i gave you all five but just give four to these five and you'd be able to get your total four marks they only ask for list four so just state them and you're on the inside question c part one define the term teamwork for two marks so in order to get the two marks you give two marks worth with any definition let's see how this looks all right so teamwork is a is a cooperative effort of a group working together to achieve a common goal or objective so kaplow kaboom we get our two marks so let's go into part two now state four guidelines other than teamwork for the conduct of good relations between management and employees in the workplace so it, it is state four guidelines for conducting good relation between management and employees this is four marks so it is straight we just going to list them out and this is straight from a syllabus so we have the four here straight from our syllabus good communication of management with workers improving working conditions motivating workers and management practicing good good leadership let's go on to part d the principal of hillside high school is concerned about the high levels of lateness and absenteeism among students she's considering adopting either an autocratic or participatory approach to solving these problems explain how the principal could use an autocratic approach to address these issues for three marks explain for explanation what we always do is that if there's something to define you first define it after you give the definition you apply what you define to the situation 
after you give the application you could either give an example of how this could be applied or you expound even more with any explanation okay so so far we are given the definition of autocratic approach to leadership where the leader has full control over decision making and leaves little to no room for external inputs if you want to remember an example of an autocratic leader remember the conventional caribbean parent when they tell you go and wash the wares it means to wash the wares it doesn't have any question there's no participation there's no like you know involvement in the decision making once that decision has been made by them your job is to carry it out so that is one way to remember autocratic leadership so now let's go into explaining autocratic leadership so after we give the definition for autocratic approach to leadership now we'll apply it to the question so under the autocratic leadership the principal would solve these issues without the input of the students so this is how you get your second mark so far and this is how you got the first mark now we're going into how we get the third mark she might create punishments such as detention giving penance and calling parents the third mark and this is how you get three marks for explanation question let's get into part two now explain how the principal could use participatory approach to address the issues right now i feel like i pronounced it wrong but we're going and write it out correct what is and we follow in the same steps we're going to give the definition we will apply it to the situation and finally give examples of how participatory approach could be used within this situation all right so on the on the participatory approach uh, first remember we give the definition so this is it includes involving others in decision making and that is the main uh, part of the definition one mark second part under the participatory approach the principal would engage students to find solutions to the issue this is how you get the second part applying the the definition to the situation and then after we given examples of how this could be applied so this could occur through having class meetings or the principal having class meetings interviewing students and even talking to students in the hallway your third mark and that da, 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 we got three all right so this is total end of question one now let's run forth into question two